we're going to look at how as um, a tarm and how as you know um, as sex as people how are we sort of related a eh, to the environment and also how are we treating it or how we should treat it how the gurus treated it and the message that the world could take uh, from Guru Sahib's principles to kind of sort this mess out because let's you know we all know that it is a bit of a mess at the moment yeah the environment is um, kind of deteriorating right to say the least so uh, that was the whole purpose of it so you get it and then also at the same time trying to improve our own jivan um, obviously there are many concepts in Sikhi um, that should be applied uh, the way Guru Saudi intended now those have not been applied accordingly uh, today by us by the by the sex so there's some uh, points that you might argue that hang on you know that it's, it's part of Sikhi but as sex we probably you know waste a lot or you know we are not very kind to the environment and it's not because um, it's gonna anything to do with Maharaj, what Maharaj gave us the Rad Maharaj gave us but it's very much an answer how we apply it today and, and how we've kind of like gone astray as well right so first things first I just uh, I chose this this image that you see you can see can everybody see the screen or do you want me to turn it or is that okay everybody can see it now when you talk about nature the environment right now to me that uh, uh, that painting of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj just resting there and uh, the the sups come out and the, the snake is giving shade to um, Guru Sahib Ji and you can see some uh, buffalo in the back you know roaming free range right um, and then just uh, the whole sort of uh, picture there obviously the Saki I'll briefly go uh, you know touch upon that but it's um, to me that you know that kind of uh, sort of in one sense sums up the relationship with with nature uh, us you know the so man and nature and also the animals as well okay so how are we as sex right um, are reacting with with all those things so Gurnanak Dev Ji Maharaj obviously uh, we know this uh, those of you who know the Saki you know it but for, for those who don't Gurnanak Dev Ji uh, was sent by his father to go and you know graze the buffalo so Gurnanak Dev Ji Maharaj is he's carefree right and he's got um, uh, under Ankar, Akal Purk on his mind. So when Guru Nanak Dev Ji goes, that never leaves him. So even in daily chores, so Guru Sahib Ji very much sort of lived that concept um, and that sort of affected his obviously uh, his work as well. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji just let the buffalo uh, range, you know, free, just go and do Marji Khao, Jithe Marji Jao, right? Um, and to me that you know sort of like uh, resonated with today's concept of free range I don't know if it's the same thing you get in Canada but in, in England you get you know free range milk or free range you know so free range cows basically you know? so uh, how you farm and how you actually you know take things from animals now um, there is veganism is kind of like on the on the rise and uh, I know a lot of I'm personally myself now kind of have, uh, sort of um, you know looking at you know where Dodd comes from where the you know the milk comes from and how the the cows are treated um, and I've kind of like, I've just started not using uh, Dodd uh, like conventional you know cow's milk but I now try and you know use you know Budamada or some, something like that myself <laughs> yeah but uh, uh, and I made a joke the other day, but uh, it's um, it makes sense. Uh, but not to say that because uh, sometimes, like I was saying before, so people can argue that uh, you know Maharaj uh, 
used milk and ode vichon hun ghyo banda aa and out of ghyo we make deg hana so you know vegan if we turn vegan now then that means that we'll have to change the way we make deg hana so people could argue they say well you know it's not very environment friendly or it's not friendly to to the animals to the cows the milk that you're using to make that you know that ghyo and then you're using it and then you say that you know you guys you know are all about the animals welfare and that kind of stuff and this is what i mean it is not nothing to do with uh the, the milk itself but it's it's the process of it yeah so it's how it's supplied today i know how it's supplied today now um if the the the, the animal okay is not harmed in any any way you know is looked after and done seva of to be honest jinna ko majja hundi si i remember um uh back in india uh, right opposite to us okay majja rakhiya si and this guy was like ruthless right you know he'd just get up and uh, sorti nal he just be you know trying to like just hit uh the 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 buffalo right gussa karda hunda si ga right and in the evening uh you'd hear you know the, the same kind of uh commotion going on but only this time it was his wife beating him so uh, i think he was just <laughs> it was and then i was like it makes sense why he's so angry uh in the morning and he's taking out the cows or the buffalo but uh, <laughs> maybe you know that's that's what it was <laughs> but i was like that's you know and, and you know being being that you know sort of uh you know young and innocent I, we used to be like oh you know that's just wrong you know how is he hitting the cows and stuff like that but then we mom be like yeah dud le aa ja ke na be all right theek hai so we just kind of get, get the dud so you know it didn't connect obviously but as your soji develops and people are like uh hang on you know sort of there is something wrong here we need to change the way we doing things so uh for a sec you can't really be you know uh truly vegan uh but um like i said you can still those those morals you can still keep those and that's their relationship of their it can still exist we just need to change the way we do things slightly and how it used to be so for me it was like going on a day you might like the cows are grazing and uh, obviously there's another sake where they just go into someone else's field and then they just destroy their field and then the guy starts complaining and going on a day you like well there's nothing's been destroyed and like you know all that but in the end nothing was destroyed right but uh gurnanak dev ji maharaj is is resting and then uh under a tree and then as the um day goes along the shade moves and then the sun's beaming down on gurnanak dev ji maharaj and then a snake comes out and then apna fan khalar ke right and then he does shaan on gurnanak dev ji maharaj now that in one sense to me just like you know nature sort of and man sort of you know working uh so how uh, in, in in harmony basically how it's meant to be on this earth right for us that relationship that we have um so you know that's why I you know I chose that sort of image there to uh, to kind of like demonstrate that right um so <coughs> Guru Sahib ji very in gurbani you can search and there's so many shabad in gurbani where guru sahib ji references everything and the analogies drawn uh with nature right because end of the day what is nature that is parmatma really ha na so this is all parmatma and maharaj you know draws all analogies there's a lot a lot of shabads uh that you find um that will demonstrate that so pavan guru pani pita mata tarth mahat so there is few elements they mentioned so first is pavan pani so a and then you got pani then you got water basically and tarth right so mother earth uh, as people uh sort of uh, reference it as so we all know that jab ji sahab is bani is a q and a so the um the seds are asking guru sahab ji questions and guru sahab ji is giving the answer you know so the seds ask a question to guru sahab ji saying that this uh if this whole sansar right um now if we were to look at this sansar as um 
uh, a person, right? So, who is this sansar's guru, right? Sansar meaning all of us, yeah? So, all of us, yeah? Uh, who's uh, our guru? Kaunia, sansar da? Teda pita kaunia, tedi mata kaunia. So, then Guru Sahib Ji replies, Mara says, Pavan Guru. Pavan Guru kyo ha? Right? Because uh, we may uh, uh, look at other Shabbats where Guru Sahib Ji is saying, Shabbat is Guru. But here Mara Ji is saying, Pavan is Guru. Pavan Guru ha. Now, there is, there, there's, um, there's a different explanations to, to sort of like reveal what, uh, why Pavan is Guru. Sabda Pella Guru is uh, so the highest. Okay? There's nothing more uh, important than Guru Sahib Ji. Without Guru Sahib Ji, we don't exist. We can't exist. Akhan Jiva Visra Marjao. Jido Prabhu Visra Jandasi Marjanea. Hana Jido Guru Sahib Ji San Visra Gaisi Marjanea. Uh, in the true sense, right? So that's one explanation of it. Why is Pavan Guru? Because just like how we cannot exist our spiritual life or, or even our physical life really, Guru Sahib Ji sustains us. Just like that, this whole Sarir, this body cannot work without Swas, without Pavan. That's why Pawn is Guru. That's why Pawn is the highest of all. <coughs> and there's this old um, uh, sort of story that they tell about how uh, in one of the days, Jiriya, Indriya, they started you know, an argument with each other. So, Naka Kanda Mavadaya, and then Kanda Kanda Mavadaya, and uh, you know, uh, so on and so forth, right? And then uh, then comes in the Swas, the Pawn, said, Saratavada Maya, and they're like, well, they're, they're arguing among themselves and then they go to Brahma and Brahma says okay we'll do this right I'll start taking one thing off the Sreed and see if, if he's still standing right obviously Nakkardita the Sreed is still there Karnakardita the Sreed is still there but as soon as the Pran went the Pawn so Pawn is actually Pran as well your breath right? so without air there cannot be no breath and there cannot be no life for us so when the Pran is out of the Sreed so they say they are all the Pran as the Sreed is all the Guru Sahib Ji as the Sreed is all the Pran it sustains us, it keeps us, and without it, we cannot exist. Is that okay with everybody? I know everyone's tired, so you know, just kind of humor me. Just we'll just do that, kid, right? Okay. <laughs> carry on, you carry on. <laughs> Only joking, carry on. <laughs> My uh, fear was that slowly and slowly everybody will be doing the same thing. So, uh, like, you know, they, I'll see them go off. See, he's just running away. <laughs> but uh, it'd be alright if you like to do that. That's okay. I, I won't be offended. Uh, it happens to me before. So, so that's one explanation of it. <laughs> okay, so Duji Gal, why is Pavan Guru? Hon Guru Shabadia Hon Shabad Sonanavaste, the Shabad Bolanavaste, the Shabad Ganavaste Ki Jaida. What you need for you to be able to project that Shabad and for the person to hear that Shabad is breath. And you need breath, you need, you need air. So, air is what carries it. Hanaji Havana Hawaii in vacuum, you, you won't be able to do that. You won't be able to hear, you won't be able to sing, right? In some people's cases, I wish they were singing in vacuum, but uh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Everybody done a fantastic job last night. So well done to everybody, yeah, whoever it was, right? Although I was asleep. Yeah. <laughs> right, so the Jedi Jedi Pran Jedi Hawaya that carries everything. Because of that, we are able to listen to Guru Sahib Shabad. You know, Guru Sahib Ji bold this and Guru Sahib Ji Pradesh kar this, and obviously the 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 air is needed for that. So that's why Pawan is 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 Guru, right? So that's why Pawan is Guru. So not to kind of like 
ਉਸਤਾਦ ਜਿਦਾਂ ਹੁਣ ਹਿੰਦੂ ਮਤ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਦੇ ਵੁਡ ਵਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਇਸ ਹੈ ਹੀ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਵਾਈ ਇਜ਼ ਹੀ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਫ ਥੈਟ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਵਰਸ਼ਿਪ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਬਟ ਪਮਨ ਇਜ਼ ਆ ਗੁਰੂ ਫੋਰ ਥੋਸ ਰੀਜ਼ਨਸ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਆ ਓਕੇ ਵਿਦ ਐਵਰੀਬਡੀ ਆ ਇਹ ਵਾਸ ਗੁੱਡ ਵਾਈ um the next is pani so pani pita so pani pita ke ho okay so ek te sansar uh, jada like uh, you and me so sare nu pata hai bhai to conceive a child okay uh, your father jada oda uh, birj ya so the semen okay now that is needed okay to je uh, if you going to procreate right and ovi jal da ek ek uh, basic com- it's it is formed from jal yeah so and then the the procreation takes place so pani is karke pita aaya is because of that right and also for baki di jehdi prakriti ya so like you know the 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 earth the, you got the flowers the trees and everything else that needs water yeah or they don't pair hundi so we need that uh, water for everything to uh, for everything to then uh you know so come about and blossom and you know for nature to exist and that's why pani is pita you get it does that make sense yeah okay and then in the end mata mata tart mahat so tarti nu mata kyon kya aaya right is because this sharir jehda aaya actually just like how we are born say from our mother's womb so just like that everything on this planet right it's tarti to upj aaya so tarti di kukh to paida hoya so the mother earth's womb that's what's given birth to everything ta karke jehdi tarti aa oh mata aa and then the uh, the other thing about uh, mata is uh, a mother will always and always apne bacche nu chukk ke rakhdi aa right so just like that the whole earth creation is carrying us sanu vi chukk ke rakhdi aa te dusri gall that uh, jehdi maa hundi aa jehdi uh, sansar di uh, so for dharti is sansar di mal but for the mother is its child's uh, mal so mal mutter right so uh, jis tarah mal mutter bacche so when a small uh, baby uh, will do uh, its business right on uh, maa utte peshab vi kar dinde hai ha na te ਗੰਦ ਵੀ ਮਾਂ ਉੱਤੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬੱਚਾ ਉਹ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਮਗਰ ਮਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਵੀ ਹਾਂ ਤੂੰ ਇਹ ਕੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਹਾਂ ਮਾਂ ਸਗੋਂ ਨੂੰ ਬਦਲਦੀ ਆ ਹੈਨਾ ਉਹ ਨੂੰ ਸਾਫ ਕਰਦੀ ਆ ਹੈਨਾ ਟੇਕਸ ਕੇਅਰ ਵੇ ਐਂਡ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਥੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਮਦਰ ਅਰਥ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਔਨ ਨਾਓ ਮੈਨੀ ਟਾਈਮਸ ਵੀ ਮਿਸਯੂਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਅਹੀ ਮਲ ਮੂਤਰ ਵੀ ਇਹਦੇ ਤੇ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੀ ਆ ਰਾਈ ਔਨ ਔਨ ਆਬਵੀਅਸਲੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਮੈਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਿਆਣੇ ਸਿਆਣੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਵਾਈ ਵੇਅਰ ਡਸ ਆਲ ਥੈਟ ਮਲ ਮੂਤਰ ਗੋ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਧਰਤੀ ਉੱਤੇ ਹੀ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਆ ਨਾਈ ਡਸ ਗੋ ਐਨੀਵੇਅਰ ਆਸ ਦ ਧਰਤੀ ਮਾ ਸਟਿਲ ਟੇਕਸ ਇਟ ਰਾਈ ਇਟ ਗਿਵਸ ਅਸ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਧਰਤੀ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਲੈ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਫਲ ਫਰੂਟ ਦਿੰਨੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆ ਕੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਧਰਤੀ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਨੇ ਕਦੀ ਅਲਾਮਾ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹਨਾ ਧਰਤੀ ਫੇਰ ਵੀ ਐਕਚੁਅਲੀ ਇਨ ਅ ਸੈਂਸ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਗੰਦ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਆ ਤੇ ਮਨਿਓ ਰਾਈ ਧਰਤੀ ਕੀ ਕਰਦੀ ਆ ਇਟ ਟੇਕਸ ਥੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਇਟ ਸਟਿਲ ਟਰਨਸ ਇਨ ਇਨਟੂ ਇਨਟੂ ਫਲ ਫਰੂਟ ਸੋ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਯੂ ਈਟ ਫਲ ਫਰੂਟ ਜਸਟ ਜਸਟ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਵੇ ਯੂ ਮਾਈ ਹਵ ਕਮ ਫਰਮ ਬਟ ਦ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਦ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਇਜ਼ ਬਈ ਧਰਤੀ ਤਾਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਮਾਂ ਜਿਹਦਾ ਮਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਦੀ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੂੰ ਦਬਕਦੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਤੂੰ ਗੰਦ ਪਾਤਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਮਾਤਾ ਵਿਲ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਚਾਰਿਸ਼ ਐਂਡ ਲੁਕ ਆਫਟਰ ਦ ਇਟਸ ਇਟਸ ਚਾਈਲਡ ਸੋ ਡਸ ਮਦਰ ਅਰਥ ਫੋਰ ਅਸ ਇਸ ਵਾਲ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਵੀ ਇਸ ਧਰਤੀ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਉਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੀ ਪਿਆਰ ਕਰੋ ਵੀ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਮਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਪਿਆਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਲਵ ਥਿਸ ਅਰਥ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਲਵ ਯਰ ਓਨ ਮਦਰ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਇਹ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਮਾਂ ਆ ਸਾਡੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੀ ਮਾਂ ਆ forget about just sada mul uh, uh, mal mutter ba other things that we doing to this this planet as well uh we making a right mess of the, mess of things right not thinking of the consequences right but if you think be a sadi maya if you have that concept see apni maan nu fir kadi dukh nahi deoge right 
then you, you start thinking about the environment. So what Maharaj did, the Maharaj connected us, said, hang on, hang on, it's not just about you using things and taking things and then doing as you please, right? Because you think you don't have a relationship with it, right? Very much part of, of us, without, without that, uh, we cannot exist. Uh, so for us to have that respect for nature as well. Okay, so that's what Mari is trying to you know, get us to, to do. Uh, I'm not going to go through the, uh, the rest of the, the Shabbat, so, uh, because the theme was just the environment, so I'm just going to keep it to that. Okay. So there, there are many Shabbats okay, in uh, Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj uh, that link, link that. Okay. Now, when you, like I said, when you search for it, you'll find many, many Shabbats. So they're just uh, one of them there. So, okay, so, Pagad Naam Dev Ji Da Shabd Ya. Okay. So, Ek Oankar Satgur Prasad Asa Bani Sri Naam Dev Ji Ki. एक एक अनेक व्यापक पूरक जात देखो तात सोई। So in the one and in the many, he is pervading, permeating wherever I look. There he is. So जिथे भी मैं देखता हूँ, वो थे मेरे परमात्मा ही नजर होता है। So the whole creation, right? माया चित्र विचित्र विमोहित बिरला बुझे कोई। So in this uh, uh, Maya, the marvelous image of Maya it says. Uh, it's so fascinating, chitra bachitra, ha na? how few understand this, so very few will understand, so most of us are just busy in that play, right? But we don't really actually really see the world for, for what it actually is, ha na? so we always see is maya, but that's it. Ha na? For but sab gobind hai, sab gobind hai. Gobind bin nahi koi. Do wari pehla kya sab gobind hai. Kisi nu samjana hove na koi gal. Te do tinn wari kahi diya. Why? To make somebody understand. Do tinn wari gal. You repeat it to basically hit it home with somebody. So ethe pagd naam ji taang ke sab gobind hai. Sab gobind hai. Ek te dasanas te dousra is pagdi form as well. It's the same thing with that. So, and then, Sut ek man sat sahans jaise ot pot prab sui. So, as the one thread holds hundreds and thousands of beads, okay, he is woven into his creation. So, es tarah jis tarah ta genal sare moti proe jandeya, es tarah sara sansar, what's actually holding it all together is paramatama. Sare mej paramatama. So, he teaches us respect. That koi vi chi jari akhanal desh diya, jari desh di, jari nahi vi desh di, es basic paramatama. So Guru Sahib Ji is, is trying to first create that relation because you can't really respect something that you don't understand for what it is. Okay, so obviously there's uh, the, the rest of the, the Shabad as well. Okay, so that is Guru Sahib Ji Sanu uh, just through that one Shabad is trying to uh, talk about what creation is and what our relationship is. Huh? Okay, now Panga Kethe Pendaya Jage is when uh, modernization versus the environment okay now the great industrial uh, revolution right so you you have the brits to thank for that right so uh, uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so just a, a bit of history of that really, to be honest. Uh, the Industrial Revolution marked a major turning point in Earth's ecology and humans' relationship with, the, with their environment. The Industrial Revolution dramatically changed every aspect of human life and lifestyles. The impact on world psyche would not begin to register under the, uh, until the early 1960s, some 200 years after it begins. So for 200 years, we as human beings, not understanding this prakriti, uh, not understanding uh, sansara and nature, we just been taking, thinking, yeah, you know, but yeah, that's improving my life, and you know, my life's a lot easier, and I got this, and I got that, right? Things, uh, life has been made a lot easier. We kept taking and taking and taking, but then only now, 200 years later, people start to realize, hang on, all that time we've been, uh, you know, taking stuff and 
uh, destroying the, the environment around us, actually, you know, we... Uh, we made a mistake, we, we've done something wrong, we got to go. And the thing is, it's not because now the human, human being is concerned about the environment. You know, if we were to say to, to, to the human beings, I know uh, Donald Trump, he's big on the environment, you know, that guy, he's, he's yeah. just trying to save everybody. <laughs> uh, and he, I think he's trying to make the world great again, you know, not just, <laughs> not, not just America. <laughs> he's trying to make the world great again. But, it's like, even if you say to humans now, say, oh, you know, that uh, global warming, all that kind of thing, that was just, you know, that was just made up, right? That was just made up, right? So just carry on, like, you know, leaving the lights on at, you know, in your house. It's okay to do that, right? You know what the human reaction would be? Be like, that's good, right? So be like, I was doing that anyway, but now uh, I won't have any guilt for it, right? We'll just carry on. The only reason why now we are so concerned because we can see our own, uh, 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 you know, demise in it. Yeah, we're gonna become instinct. Be asih on extinct ho yana. We're gonna finish. The human race will just die out with all this global warming happening, right? The water levels rising and this and that, all of that. Hon sadi maat jadiya as humans. Now we're concerned. Just because of that reason, no other reason. It's because we can see, uh, you know, that, that, uh, so now people are concerned with it. But the thing is, obviously what's been done, some of it is irreversible, uh, some of it is not. So, then from human development, health and life, longevity, longevity, to social improvements and the impact on natural resources, public health, energy usage and sanitation, the effects were profound. So all of that, right? So now, the whole uh, world, we got uh, issue with, with population uh, growing and with, with it, the problem of the earth is growing as well. Yeah? Machinery began to replace manual labor, fossil fuels replaced wind, water and wood. So something that Maharaj uh, sort of, um, you know, gave us those those resources that are renewable but now you know we started to kind of like you know sort of our greed sort of you know got in the way and we started making the right mess of things yeah okay so human population growth is uh, uh, I don't know what that word is uh, anybody know what that word is yeah that's it uh, tied together with increased use of natural and man-made resources, energy, land and growing food for living and waste byproducts they are disposed of to decompose, pollute or be recycled. Right? Now, I just want to mention here that uh, Guru Sahib Ji Maharaj gave us a, a, a rat. So there's a big hoo-ha about uh, plastic now, so you know, not using plastic anymore uh, because that, that really, really destroys the environment, right? But Guru Sahib Ji gave us a tat uh, uh, to use, right? Okay, that tat Guru Sahib Ji gave us just to use instead of plastic. Sarblo, yeah. Guru Sahib Ji has given us sarblo. You see in the sayings, by Manavir Sahib Ji and you see by Harman Sahib they are making their food in um, in, in a bata in sarbalo. Right? So part of the uh, 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 rat. Now, obviously, there's different levels of of because people sometimes people just you cook and eat in uh, sarbalo, uh, and then obviously you know you can take it as, as far as you like. But the uh, the rat in itself is, is the best thing to do. The best thing to cook it in is 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 a bata is sarbalo da bata because of the new nutrients uh, you know that and the iron that goes in your food and not just that what happens with just like you know when we um, uh, eat in other things you don't plastic plastic what happens to plastic where does that go right that's that's gonna uh, poison the earth right well, there's nothing else much else it's gonna do but there's something specific by panda but you after you are done with it you can't just leave it and that's it, someone comes and washes it. But with Sarabla, you can't really do that. Why? What will happen? What will you say? It will rust. It will just rust. So, you have to do it. And then, uh, what, you know, what's the common thing that you use to scrub a butter? Lemon. 
You use lemon, what else? So, red, hana, so red. You're just using natural stuff. Nimbu ho gaya. And uh, you're not using like chemicals, you're not using, you know, sade do te feri chaldi, there's like, you know, different uh, sub and things like that. But just to kind of uh, demonstrate that, jedi rat guru sahab jine sanu dittiya, he's just like the best thing that Maharaj gave us, not just for us, so, uh, but also is for the environment as well. Yeah. So, baki sansar vaste biya. Okay. I'm just going to quickly um, uh, move on uh, from there. Right, I'm going to uh, leave that one as well. Okay. And then just want to talk about uh, Guru Sahib's work. Okay. Now, the, uh, the set of Guru showed, Guru showed the world the way to live in harmony with the environment and all their constructions adhere to this principle. Guru Harai Sahib Ji, the seventh uh, Sikh Guru, developed uh, Kirtpur Sahib as a town of parks and gardens. Now, Guru Sahib Ji, uh, Guru Harai Sahib Ji Maharaj, right, um, in Kirtpur Sahib, created many garden, gardens, herbal gardens, and Guru Sahib Ji grew stuff there that you that could not be found anywhere else in uh, you know in the in Hindustan. But Maharaj would research, uh, get sex to research and plant. What the hell is that? It's a spider on my. Okay, it's gone there now. See, that's that's nature, right? So you can carry on, mate. Right. So. Guru Sahib Ji, uh, he constructed uh, parks and gardens and in total Guru Sahib Ji had uh, 52 such gardens. Guru Hara Sahib Ji uh, and located on the banks of the uh, tributary of uh, Satluj, uh, he planted flowers and fruit bearing trees all over the area. This created a salubrious uh, environment, attracting beautiful birds to the town and turning it into an idyllic place to live in, right? So, not only it was uh, helping people, so Guru Sahib Ji Maharaj will then make medicine with it and treat people, but it was just a nice place to go and just appreciate nature anyway. So, Guru Harai Sahib Ji developed Kirtpur Sahib as a town of parks, gardens, then what, that park uh, that is still uh, exists uh, is Nola Kabag, okay, and that became famous for the, for its uh, wide varieties of rare medical herbs. Uh, so that you couldn't find anywhere else uh, in Hindustan, like this. I Guru Sahib to the fact that when um, uh, Shah Jahan's uh, son got poisoned. He was actually poisoned and they couldn't find an antidote from anywhere else but it came to Guru Sahib Ji. And Guru Sahib Ji had that antidote that came from that very park. So Guru Sahib Ji really respected the environment. And the other thing we talked about, uh, there was a mention of Chatka as well and there's mention of um, a Guru Sahib Ji hunting Shikar Khirdin this year Guru Sahib and that's, that always comes up, right? Now, Guru Harai Sahib Ji Maharaj would go and hunt as well. Now, some people might think that is a bit contradictory where uh, we all know the Saki of Guru Harai Sahib Ji as he was going, uh, uh, walking through, um, you know, uh, a garden and his robe, his, his jola uh, basically um, got entangled with, uh, there was a bush and there was a flower on it and as Guru Sahib Ji pulled away his jola, the flower basically came off. Right and follow uh, Tortagia, and when he went to uh, Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji Maharaj, so Guru Hargobind Sahib Ji Maharaj ne kya siga bhi tyan lal tornaya. So watch how you walk, so that you wherever you walk, you just respect your environment. Ek full vi jeda hai siga na, oh jido tutta the Guru Sahib Ji nu fir os gal da bhi dukh hoya, bhi ek full Tortagia. So that's on the one side. So all throughout Guru Harai Sahib Ji's life then, when he would walk, he would always hold on to his jola so that that would not happen again. So ek paase te, oh Guru Sahib Ji jeda full vini tord de. And on the other hand, Guru Sahib Ji goes hunting. Hana so gal samjhan wali ya. Hana, jede te si sometimes we quite easily use that as an excuse to maybe do charka or you know sort of uh, I'm not getting into the whole debate of it but I'm just saying it's something to think about but Guru Sahib Ji right because the thing is Guru Sahib Ji is not about uh, show there has to be that real compassion 
for Guru Sahib you should have that dukh just full bhi tut gaya dukh lagga hai na there has to be immense passion compassion there for that to happen so does that mean when Guru Sahib you went hunting that compassion just went Maharaj put that on the side they say I'm going hunting now forget compassion let's go hunting nahi when Guru Sahib you used to go uh, hunt most of the time Guru Sahib you would bring the animal back alive you can still go hunting, but you don't have to kill the animal, right? Then you can still learn the, the skills that you would you would learn. The only thing that we're missing is you actually killing the animal. But Guru Sahib Ji would bring those animals back. And not just that, any animals that they, they'd find you know, injured or anything, the Guru Sahib Ji would bring them back and to the, one of the gardens and they would just roam free and they just, just live till, you know, uh, their, their, their natural sort of uh, uh, natural demise hana? so Guru Sahib Ji very much respected the environment around and not just uh, uh, the, the the plants and the trees and the rest of it but the the rest of creation and all the animals as well so Guru Sahib Ji you know led by by example now uh, for us there's something to think about the Guru Sahib Ji created those gardens and really looked after them have we ever, ever you know actually planted a tree or done anything uh, like that okay now there's a few more shabbats about uh, about that um, but I'm not gonna uh, go into them I just want to uh, come to the the, the rat aspect how does our own rat is is environment you know friendly how is that friendly so the main one I've picked out okay now everybody else uh, you know, sort of more or less we know about the the rest of the, the rest of that but there's one that I really wanted to pick out was about a case right now before you can respect the rest of the the rest of the earth you got to respect this body that Maharaj has given you Jada Sreer Mara Ne Sanu Ditta Ya Jadi Kudrat Sadde Vich Ya is working uh, within us and then very much part of that is, is our case is our hair right so where, our, where we don't go around uh, and destruct the planet the same uh, you know same time we do not go about destructing ourselves and what Maharaj is basically just like how things grow on this on this earth there's case that are growing on, on us as well so Maharaj Ne Ithe so in each and every single uh, Rome, right, uh, there is Paramatma, there is Vaheguru within it, right. Sat Santoh ka Tarhotyan, Kathni Kathya, Brahm Gyan, okay, so Jidami Asi, sometimes people say what's the need for it like they're trying to justify that you know I don't really you don't really need your case but Guru Sahib Ji will just talk about that as well in terms of its physical requirement but it's basically about your your spirituality so to be the uh, you can say to get the best connection with the Vaheguru so other people get connections as well but to get the best connection with the Vaheguru that connection that can never be lost when we do Pakti man, we do Simran, each and every uh, hair on our body does Simran. So, Ovi Rom, Gurmukh Rom, Rom, Harte Ave, Hana, Pa, O Shabudvi Pardeya. So, Esi da Khyal Rakhana, B. To the world, it may seem like something useless, but but there's a reason why Maharaj created this on us and there's a use for it. So, uh, just a just bit of science about it, just hum humans are covered in around 5 million hair follicles, right? The tiny uh, organs on our skin surface that produce hair, right? And our hair still plays a very important role in regulating our body temperature. When it's cold outside, tiny muscles surrounding the hair follicle cause the hairs to stand up to trap more heat near uh, the body. This is what happens when you get goosebumps. Now, they also sense organs. It helps uh, your body's defense and immune system. Guru Sahib that you should touch any case on your body because onu jano bhi e e ithe vi parmatma ya ha ithe vi parmatma ya so um, 
this was the uh, just a sick wrap on just case just respecting your 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 own self right if we can't respect ourselves and what Guru Sahib Ji has given us then we've not got much chance of respecting the environment right Guru Sahib Ji has connected with the nature and the nature and it is very important that as you Guru Sahib Ji Ji Rath then we start living Guru Sahib Ji's Rath and Guru Sahib Ji Rath is very simple when we see Amrath Shakla and then the Panj Pairi Sanu Naam De Din De and then when we see Naam Japna Shuru Kar Din De start living the Rath and living a simple life for us what we consume Maharaj Ji Alap Ahar Sulapsi Nindra we thoda khana te thoda sona right respecting the environment because as we consume more and more out of our greed Hondakiya that we are damaging the environment just want to uh, finish off by just we talked about Japji Sahib Ji just want to finish on the the Mahanta of Japji Sahib and as like I said the other day that we should all of us Koi bhi ya, try and do at least Jabji Sahib Ji da part every single day. The Mahanta of Jabji Sahib. So just very quickly, Guru Hargobin Sahib Ji Maharaj sitting one day and he wants to hear Gorsek recite Jabji Sahib Ji da part. And uh, Pai Gopala Ji, right, he puts his hand forward and he says, Maharaj, I am not Jabji Sahib da part. And Pai Gopala Ji starts reading and he does it with so much prem and he does it so shud. He's reading part very shud. That's the other thing about the importance of reading Gurbani shud as well. You have to have prem, yes, but you should, or you also need to learn how to recite Gurbani correctly. Kidna ucharan kidna karana. Pai Gopala Ji ne jira ucharan kita. It was so shud that Guru Sahib Ji listening to that part got so much anand from it and Guru Sahib Ji started thinking, what should I give this Gursik in return? He's just done an amazing job here. Be in a anand, in a preminal, in a shod part kita. And what can I give this sick in return? Maharaj is thinking that. Maharaj can devi inu kidama. And then once the, the Gorsik got to the party of uh, Sodar, Maharaj thinking. There is nothing else worthy of, of uh, his seva other than Jedi Guru Nanak Dev Ji Pashadi Bani Pardaya, just give him the same Gurgaddi. Oh, he Gurgaddi Jedi Guru Nanak Dev, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Batisan, oh, he Gaddi, it's a Guru Nanak Dev Ji Batisan. I'm going to give him that, that Gaddi, I'm going to make him the Guru. Onama Guru Ibnadana, there's nothing else I could give him. So, Maharaj, as he's sitting on his throne, he starts getting up. And then Pai Gopala Ji, then he notices that Guru Sahib Ji just, just you know, moved and he's, he's going to get up. And then a furna comes into his head, a thought comes into his head. He's saying that there was, there was one Sikh Pai Sapagha Ji and he had bought five very expensive horses for Maharaj. Sava Sava Lakh De Kode, Sava Lakh 125,000 uh, rupees in those days is a lot of money for one horse. But in Menge Kode, see, so Ek Guru Sahib Jine Aap Rakh Lea, Te Ek Siga Pai Gurdita Jine Deta, Baba Gurdita Jine, he gave one to uh, Pai Bidhi Chandji and he gave one to uh, Pande Khan. So there was one left and that sex started thinking. ਬਈ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਚੰਗਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਵੀ ਜੇ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਹੁਣ ਚੱਲੇ ਆ ਮਗਰ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਜਾਣ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਉਹ ਘੋੜਾ ਦੇ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਐਸ ਸੂਨ ਐਸ ਹੀ ਹੈਡ ਦੈਟ ਥੋਟ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੇ ਬੁੱਝ ਲਿਆ ਵੀ ਵਾਟਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਆਨ ਇਨ ਹਿਸ ਇਨ ਹਿਸ ਮਾਈਂਡ ਸੋ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦੈਨ ਜਸ ਸੈਟ ਬੈਕ ਡਾਊਨ ਫਿਰ ਬੈ ਗਏ ਉਹਨੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਪਾਠ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਣਾਇਆ ਤੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੇ ਫਿਰ ਕਿਹਾ ਵੀ ਸਿੱਖਾ ਵੀ ਤੂੰ ਮਨ ਚ ਕੀ ਫਰਨਾ ਕਰ ਲੈ ਤੈਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਪਾਤਸ਼ਾਹ ਦੀ ਗੱਦੀ ਦੇਣ ਲੱਗੇ ਸੀ ਵੀ ਵਰ ਰੈਡੀ ਟੂ ਗਿਵ ਯੂ ਦਾ ਗੱਦੀ ਵਾਈ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਹੀ ਡਿਡ ਜਪਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਪਾਠ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਇੰਨੇ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਸਾਡੇ ਤੇ
ਵਿੱਚ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਬਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਸੁਣਦੇ ਆ ਪਾਠ ਇਦਾਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਵੀ ਜਿੱਦਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਨੂੰ ਸੁਣਨਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੁਣਦੇ ਪਏ ਆ ਤੇ ਨਾਲ ਪਾਠ ਸ਼ੁੱਧ ਕਰਨਾ so if you take anything away from from uh, uh, from you know this camp je te tusi jab ji sahab da paath nahi karde te karo roz karya karo paath jab ji sahab ji da dusri gal take santhya wherever is available near you have santhya of how to read gurbani because when you go and do santhya uh, you do actually doing sangat as well ਹਾਂ ਨਾ ਸੋ ਸੰਥਿਆ ਸਿੱਖੋ ਗੁਰਬਾਣੀ ਸਿੱਖੋ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਫੋਰ ਫੋਰ ਦੋਸ ਆਫ ਅਸ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਵੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਛਕਿਆ ਆ ਬਾਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਅਸੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਨਾਲ ਪੜਿਆ ਕਰੀਏ ਦੈਟ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਸਿਟ ਡਾਊਨ ਮੇਕ ਟਾਈਮ ਫੋਰ ਯੋਰ ਨਿਤ ਨੇਮ ਐਂਡ ਬਾਣੀ ਪ੍ਰੇਮ ਨਾਲ ਪੜਨੀ ਵੀ ਜਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਹਰ ਗੁਰੂ ਹਰਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਭਾਈ ਗੋਪਾਲਾ ਦੇ ਸੁਣਦੇ ਸੀਗੇ ਜਪਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸਾਡਾ ਵੀ ਸੁਣਨ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਵੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੁਣਦੇ ਪਏ ਆ ਹਨਾ ਸੋ ਵਿਦ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਨਾਟ ਇਫ ਆਵ ਮੇਡ ਐਨੀ ਮਿਸਟੇਕਸ ਥੈਨ ਯੂ ਜਸਟ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਲਿਵ ਵਿਦ ਇਟ ਆ ਗੈਸ ਬਟ ਆਮ ਆਮ ਗਨ ਆਮ ਗਨ ਸਟਾਪ ਥੇ ਆਮ ਪਰਸਨਲੀ ਮਸਾਫ ਆਮ ਵੈਰੀ ਟਾਇਰਡ ਐਂਡ i'm going to ask tired as well so uh, i'm not going to take any questions so uh, we'll just uh, we'll just if, if there is a question you can ask but uh, hanji uh, you made an interesting point with uh, the environment connection hanji that it made me think mm. and as a sikh as a whole mm. do you think we're really abiding by that like no you're not human being just like we just could tell my sick here right yeah just that sick do you really think we're abiding by that like we, mm. uh, like we're as a whole your opinion mm. uh, we really follow that guideline for ourselves mm. with mother nature because like you said i think it plays an important role as well yeah in general yeah yeah i need to respect that because the place where we live is like handy where you live you want to keep it clean you want to keep it immaculate you want to keep it yeah the same way you treat the same way you treat yourself right handy so in your opinion as a city like the city font like do you think you really as a folk you've gone away from that or like do you, do you think I'm interested in going like that right yeah the answer is no uh, yeah the answer is no and uh, i think i earlier on i, I mentioned that guru sahib ji has given us those concepts and now either we don't apply them or we apply them wrong we're not doing it the right way you know so there is like we have become very materialistic ourselves uh the god says life should be simple right so when your life simple your needs are simple when your needs are simple then you need less from the environment you only need enough to sustain you and that's how the whole system has been created just enough there in abundance for us to be sustained and maybe have a little bit more but what we do is we just you know carry on taking and taking and taking until we destroy it i think as a bunt yes we uh you know sort of when it comes to the environment uh we could do a hell of a lot more like i'm saying that how many of us actually you know go and plant trees or anything like that you know i don't do that you know bhagat puran singh ji uh you know we know that you know that that was a big thing with him that go and plant trees but it is you sick you know we 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 don't do that you know when it comes to uh um uh, even say like in guru cars as well now the way we run guru cars as well there's so much wastage you know that that happens and takes place you know uh jehdi durvartton si karde ha padarthan di uh you know that's obviously you know affecting the the environment but uh very much so i think as as six we are you know far from it uh, at the moment but all the concepts are there um and if we start you know living up to them then you know uh, maybe we can sort of you know revert the, uh, the the effect of you know our, our just you know consumption greed well like you said no one cares until until they suffer for it you know like that's it yeah like no one even thinks a second like 
Yeah. Second, to be honest. I mean, no. Like, like now, like, why is it for now in the world? Because they're like, oh, well, this might damage us. Yeah. And then it's like you said. Yeah. Otherwise, they would not even be at the forefront of them. No, the, the, people don't care. They were like, no, I don't care. You know what I mean? And people are still, some people are like, well, you saying that this this earth is going to be destroyed, like, you know, many thousand years from now? Oh, that's all right with me. You know, that's okay. You know, I'm not going to be around for that. Yeah. But, you know, they don't know that, you know, we, we believe in reincarnation. So you are going to come back. And you're gonna have to face the consequences, but it, but that's always they didn't get that. But yeah, I think uh, we do need to take a lot of steps and just just like you got to start from within, like I was saying. But now you just gotta respect the rules of nature, you know, from what marriage has given us, and then just kind of take it out. You know, the Bucky communities are, Hanji. Um, it's a bit off topic, but is there anything we can do to watch the World Cup? <laughs> ah. Hurry up and clean up yeah. uh, after, after we, uh, <laughs> we uh, wrap up everything else. <laughs> It's at 11. It's at 11? Okay. So, is it, what time is it now? 11.10. Oh, 11.10, okay. <laughs> Any further questions related to the work? Has everybody, uh, anybody heard of Ecosec? Yeah, so they're doing a lot of good work um, in Punjab where they're making small changes which will impact a lot of the Gurdwaras and thereby a lot of places. Um, I was doing a, like a little bit of reading and research and there's one um, uh, individual where he's, he's looking at how long it takes for us to, like how the industrial revolution happened, how, how we changed from one fuel source coal to another right um, maybe logs uh, wood to to other gas right and then it, how it actually takes quite a lot of time for that change to happen to new fuel source like we're trying to get to solar or renewable sources but because that's going to take if we look at history it takes a lot of time the fastest way to make an impact is to um, not consume uh, animal flesh that that like in large how it's like herded in farms and stuff like that so that so he is for like people becoming vegetarian um, and that will have faster impact on the environment and you know uh, CO2 CO2 and all the pollution that'll be faster because just her like feed for the cattle and um, hurting the, the that uh, animal flesh around and this and that so the, the meat, so that has a huge um, carbon footprint. Mm. So the fastest way to for human beings to actually make an impact on our environment is, is through that way, right? So that's a, mm. that's another thing. Just the point that uh, the more greenery we have, you made a good point. The more trees, the more greenery we have, it sucks out the carbon dioxide mm. in itself, and then it shoots out um, fresh air. You know what I mean? Mm. The more greenery, like the more you destroy, the yeah. more you destroy, but at least find mm. somewhere else where it kind of offsets that. Yeah. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? I think there's enough there if we keep the balance, you know, we'll just take what we actually need and then, you know, we'll be here. Everything is nice once, you know, this world will, you know, eventually, you know, die, but it's like we trying to, you know, accelerate the process, you know, so that doesn't help. Uh, Hanji? Consume two times more than they actually need. Two times more? I think it was mm. two or three times more than what they actually need. That's what I read uh, mm. online somewhere. Yeah, I've just come back from America and I think it's a lot more than that over there than, <laughs> than that is. <laughs> he's over here. But that's, that's where but all ten times happen, happens. Right? America themselves. <laughs> yeah. That is one huge country. It's because, probably because they try to satisfy, mm -hmm. uh, they try to get an mm -hmm. from the food. Yeah. Mm. Get from or yeah. They try to get food. Yeah, it's time to find it other things, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So they're just discussing something. Well, let's just try and eavesdrop. See if you can hear what they're saying. Oh, he got another one again, didn't he? So we'll just save him the time. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs>